What's happening, y'all? We about to make some stuffed, deconstructed stuffed bell pepper soup. Okay. I have on a little TikTok light. It's flashing like it's kind of crazy, but we're gonna see how it goes. We're gonna start with a pound of ground turkey. And also a pound of ground turkey sausage. I'm gonna do a little bit of onion, just a little bit. Alright. We've drained our meat. We're gonna add our bell peppers. We have four green, yellow, red, and orange. Mm -hmm. Now just slice them once and then cut them in the middle. I want a lot of bell peppers, okay? This is a deconstructed bell pepper that we want it to look like a deconstructed bell pepper, okay? We have lots of bell pepper, lots of color, and we have big chunks. This is how I like it. Okay, I'm gonna add about a half a cup of rice. Dry. Mix it in, get a little toast on the rice before we pour in our liquid. Alright guys, we're going to do a can of tomato sauce, a can of stewed tomatoes, another can of stewed tomatoes. But get diced so it'll be smaller. Okay, have four cups of beef broth. I use a small pot today. <laughs> Scissors and cut these <laughs> tomatoes. Yeah. I'm gonna put the lid on. Let that simmer. Let that rice cook. We'll be right back at it, guys. We have it simmering for about 15 minutes. Cut this. Ah, it's popping. Like. Yes. I'm gonna season it with some Italian seasoning, a little fresh red for a little heat, cumin for some depth, and a little adobo, and a little creole. Put the lid back on for about five more minutes. We'll let all the flavors marinate, and we're done. So, add a little shredded cheese on top. There we go. Our deconstructed stuffed bell pepper soup. <laughs> I feel like it was so chaotic making this soup. But all in all, I think it turned out pretty good. So, let's see. Mm. Oh. Mm. Mm. Bro, it's so good, flavorful, meaty, hearty. Mm. The bell peppers are like soft, but they still got a little crunch to them. That's how I like mine. I love that I added so many 
and they're in bigger chunks. That's good, y'all. I'm gonna watch Raising Canaan. Raising Canaan this season. <sighs> it's going downward. It's going on a downward slope for me, you know. In power, we see, you know, who Canaan is and how, you know, things end for him. So I feel like in this one, like leading up to that, possibly, it's just like. I don't, maybe that's what it is because we know like we know the end game but right now it just feels all over the place it really does and then the fact that they killed off unique and i seen an interview <laughs> of him saying well when i got into acting i had a rap career and now i want to get back to that and i'm just like what? like okay i guess you know music is your passion i get it but like, ugh, you can't do both. Why you can't do both? <laughs> um, but I mean, I get it. But he said in an interview one time, like, TV money is more money and it's guaranteed money. You know, with music, you got to get like a million screens to even make like money for real. Unless you're doing tours. Maybe he's going on a tour soon. I don't know, but... Girl, it better be something big, okay? <laughs> Cause why, yeah? Why, yeah? Oh, I'm stressed out. That's it for the night, y'all. Yeah, bye. Got these cute heart-shaped nuggets from Walmart. They're so cute. I got them with some um, sugar-free honey barbecue sauce. Like, yeah. And then I wanted some sweet potato fries. But I had already baked all my sweet potato. So, we just got <laughs> a regular sweet potato. I mean, that should make up for the fries, right? We'll see. But, yeah. Alright y'all, I'm in another Aldi today, so we have air fryers for $40, let's see, I got this triple slow cooker, that's me, it's 35 these guys are really expensive, so that's the deal, um, we have these oversized cardigans, that's neat, we have these stock ones. I've been wanting a stock pot, you guys. Y'all know I make a ton of soup. So, I be need something big. It's $25. Oh, I'm trying to think. What y'all think? I want the, like, the tall one, not a wide one, necessarily. They got pizza pans. I need me a new pizza pan. Uh, what? These are $4. I think I might actually need this. I can throw my other one away. I think I'm going to do that. Um, oh, these are cute. These are serving trays. That's so neat. So this week it seems like they're doing like party, like party stuff, um, like hosting parties, food. So they have the rectangle serving tray and a circle um, serving tray. And that's neat. It's a little accent table. It That's neat. Huge mirror. Oh my god. Twenty-eight inch. This is kind of like the stuff they had last week. Um, I actually do need me some sheets. $29 for some sheets and some gray ones. I think I might actually get these sheets. <laughs> yeah, so this is stuff they had last week. Um, shower thing in the bathroom and stuff. Oh, this is neat. 
under base door, shoots a novice. Glass kettle. Oh, these are neat. Insulated half cap right. This is neat. You don't even see that? Oh, what does this do? Vacuum insulated algae streams hot or cold. Mm -hmm. What's this? These are cute. I like texture. Mama sugar. These little um, trays. Those are cute. Crafting picture. We're at Chick fil A. About to try these mango passion fruits. All right, y'all. So, I think I'm gonna just put this in the vlog because this ain't gonna be long at all. But I stopped to Chick Fil A. They have their new passion mango drinks. They have them in four different, like four different. <laughs> you can get them four different ways. So, you can get the mango passion lip frosted lemonade, which has the ice cream. You can get the Mango Passion Sun Joy, which I think is lemonade and um, tea. You can get the Mango, pa <laughs> Mango Passion Tea. Or you can get the Mango Passion um, Lemonade. I think I said that right. So, I should have recorded this, but y'all know how they stand out there and like take the orders and stuff, you know. So I was asking him which which like one he preferred, and he said the frosted lemonade was gas. His exact words, okay. Uh, <laughs> is it me? Because I don't know the man. He was a white guy, so I'm like, is he saying gas because I'm black? He think I talk like that, like. But okay, that just be stuff I be anyway. Oh, <laughs> and he was like, yeah, if you get this, like, it's absolute fire. Like, I'm just like, just, I mean, just tell me you like it. You ain't really got to do all that, you know? But anyway, he was like, if you get this, you won't regret it. It's so good. Oh, my God, I promise. So, I got it. Let's try it and rate it one through five. <laughs> Shout out, Keith, please. Okay. I love their frosted lemonades. They're so good, but they hurt my stomach because it's dairy. And me and dairy don't do too well. But we're going to try this. Okay, let's go. I'm not getting much of the mango at all. It's really just a frosted lemonade. The fact that it's supposed to be mango and, and I really didn't get much of that flavor. I probably get it's like a 2.5 out of 5. Kind of like right in the middle. I still like my frosted lemonade but I'm supposed to have got mango passion and I didn't so... Well, I probably did. You just can't taste it. So, eh, right in the middle. Right. Yeah. 